Hey there guys! Yeah, this is my new look. Yes, made by my daughters. I appreciate them a lot. Now then, here's the review. It's going to be an episode I do not like. It's called Fairweather Friends about Applejack. Remember this? Arguing and competing each other in the race. So let the games begin! And the review! The episode begins at Sweet Apple Acres during the game of Horseshoes. Horseshoes? Really? Horseshoes? Pony said to wear them, but I didn't know you could make it into a sport. I mean, I never even knew that. I didn't even wear sh horseshoes. I just wear shoes that I make out of fabric. Yeah, I make shoes. Okay, I made Ladybug shoe once. I'll show you them later on. I'm sure you probably already saw them in the video already somehow. <clears throat> in the case. Then I project best then let's see. Applejack beat Rainbow Dash by the ringer, while the farm pony assured her that it, it was good fun. Rainbow Dash says she hates losing. She challenges her friends to an Iron Pony competition. Oh boy, a series of sports contests to decide who's the best athlete. Oh, I hate these type of things. Okay, the butt mix. Or ponytails, I would say. I was, okay. Pinkie Pie and Rarity are spectators. Twilight Sparkle is the evening judge. Spike acts as announcer, and a Fluttershy Tallies this course. I didn't realize how the flood site could be useful. Okay, Applejack competes the first event, the barrel waiver, in 17 seconds, who received a 5 second penalty for bumping to one of the barrels. Oh boy. Rainbow Dash blesses Ruth Flawless in 18 seconds, earning 1 point. In the strength test, Rainbow Dash bucked the hammers hard enough to hit the bell. Ding 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 ding. But Applejack had kicked the hammers hard enough to break it and send that bell fine, earning her points. She granted her proud year of the Buck Apple and yeehaw! Yeah, she does Buck Apple for a long time. Then, <coughs> sorry, need water. Yeah, it's an invisible cup, I know. Uh, excuse me. Kick the tree, and yes. An apple fell on Dash's head to tune, shave, and haircut. I don't know what that even means. Oh wait, let me just take a peek and see what I can see. Uh, oh yeah, it's a song. It's, oh yeah, no, it says here, um, a square responds to two bits in the first note call, respond to couple, riffs, fair, fair, popular use for the intermediate performance. Who knew? The more you know, guys. The goal of the next test is the Bronco Buck is to buck spikes off the short mountain. Rainbow Dash wins the round and call a calf roping. Honestly, wrapping baby baby calves? Really? Ugh. Consonants must lasso spike. Appear uh, seriously, spike? Spike gets lassoed? Okay, that is just too much. She spike gets beat it up. This is more spike abuse. Yes, spike abuse. I do not like. I do not like this, Sam. I am. I do not like it. Damn, I am. Yeah, damn, I am. I'm saying that right. Okay, now. Let's see. Applejack Easy does this as Rainbow Dash accidentally tied herself to a tree branch. In the next round, Rainbow Dash beats Applejack at the balance and bouncing balls. And Applejack, oh boy. Total Ninny Hammer. <sighs> and see, and as the Rainbow Dash actually tied herself to a man, it's really stupid. I have to say that again. Because Rainbow Dash beats Applejack at balance and bouncing balls, which is kind of stupid actually. Applejack brings the score back to three versus three by, by shot, putting bale of hay. Further detailing, Rainbow Dash wins in the arm wrestle, and Applejack bugs football much to for the 4 4 yeah. halfway through the competition. And the ponies are tied 5 5 5. Most of the ponies will have joined the spectators. And yeah, we are uh, we are expecting a big story here. So many ponies. So many indeed. 
And, well, refusing to lose, Rainbow Dash started winning more even by using her wings. She briefly flapped her wings to win the Gullet Push-Up Contest, propping herself forward to a long jump gain, and a few more inches to carry a flock of baby chicks on the outside wings, and she raced across the mud, and the last event was the Tug of War. Oh, yeah! Tug of War! Rainbow Dash flies up and, and tricks Apodeck into talking to letting go of the rope. Apodeck falls into the mud pit, struggling 15 to 5. Rainbow Dash win the competition. However, Applejack called for a friend for cheating with her wings. Rainbow Dash brings up the fact that she never said not to use her wings. And Applejack responded that she shouldn't have to. Fine Pony challenged her to an animal running of the leaves. Under conditions, she does not use her wings at all. Rainbow Dash accepts the term. Ooh, sweet heavens. When will it ever begin? After Applejack and Dash agreed to race for running the leaves, they seen cuts. To the black and faded, to Twilight and Spike walking through the races. Spike mentions he wants to be a race announcer, but the frame pan to Pinky and Twinky. Twinkie's balloon. Oh, yes. yes. Twilight's balloon. She explains the competition is one for Ponyville tradition, prefers to shake the arm leaf down a tree, pound in footsteps. Bang, 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 bang. Footprints. Or should I hoop friends? Several number competitions are featured Golden Harvest. Number zero zero, however, switch numbers with ten running one. Orchard Drew, Orange Whirl, Cloud Kicker, Juicy Fruit, Applejack, who tied last place with uh, Rainbow Dash, Sweetie Drop, who switched numbers with number ten to the race, Rainbow Dash, who tied last P place with Applejack, Lyra Heartstrings, Twilight Spiegel, who won fifth place. We're not mentioned by that. Who switched numbers to eighteen to six while well, we're Shoe Shining, and Berry Shine, Derpy, Lemon Heart, Amethyst Star, and Daisy. Pinky invites Spike to join the commentary as the racers gathered at the starting line. Applejack makes sure that Rainbow Dash will keep a good promise. By trying not to wing up to her surprise, Twilight joined the race and expected her seven given up to mock the egghead friend. It deeply means the fact that she never ran a race or read the subject. The marathon begins. Rainbow Dash and Applejack are already leading the demand to win once and for all, and they are next and next. Before Applejack trips over a rock, she ably accepts her rival in any trip in her, which is really cheating, except for Twilight, who is casually strolling behind and enjoying the beautiful view of the, of the beautiful autumn trees, and who wouldn't? I love autumn. When she was past her, Twilight informed her that she didn't look where she was going, and Applejack dashed off to make up lost time. But later, Rainbow Dash showed comfortable shot, and confident by her lead, Applejack went her past. And this time, Pegasus... Tripped over a stump and flopped. Second last, next to Twilight. She remained blessed that day. This is just a game. Too stubborn to believe the apple bucket friend would never stop acting that way. Rainbow Dash decided to play dirty. Oh god, this is bad. This is what I say. Bad juju, my friend. Bad juju. Come to think of it. We've never seen them cheat like this before. I mean, has Rainbow Dash ever tried to cheat? Boom, ba dum, bum. It's never happened before. The later season status. Mm -hmm. No, this doesn't act. Never. Uh-uh. Then as Pinkie Pie and by commentate from being up above, saying some weird jokes about hot dogs. And always there are no hot dogs because we never see hot dog meat be used in Ponyville. Some of I don't think we've ever seen any of meat. Hmm. Well, catching up with Applejack to use the environment on the wa on the white tail woods to their events from the branches, the bees, and the tree syrup. Along the way, Rainbow Dash flips the arrow, in which point out the dead end of a nearby mountain. Oh my, what a very vile thing to do, Rainbow. All the racers, after Applejack continued to already part, and Rainbow Dash, while she lead on side la with laughing, Twilight stops by and admits that all the racers just passed her, and Dash just goes right off. Reminds me of the story, the um, tortoise and the hare, and tortoise wins. Bunny lost. Applejack reacts to the mountain summit and realizes Dash tricked her. Pinkie Pie has offered her a lift to Twinkle Balloon. As it approached home stretch, Applejack and Dash bent higher and even. And before they finished first, when they finished the line straight, they started really bumping each other sideways to try to toss. Oh, had a fight. Applejack got the lead and tied. And Rainbow Dash rope, allowing her to break her promise. Ooh, she fly! That's the cheater, cheater, little brat. They started arguing about who was finished first. But for their shock, the constant cast and muted up turning to the costume to fall behind. Last place, even Twilight got fifth place. And she explained she followed the advice from her book and passing herself through the race before going out. Most of the racers were worn out. 
Honda Citizen is a good resort for a first time racer. And here is the lesson they have learned. As Rainbow Dash and Applejack feel sorry for their own embarrassment, poor short poor sportmanship. Princess Celeste stepped forward. The princess was watching the entire event from the fall of play every season. She forgave him saying that anybody can get swept up in competition third. She pointed out two miss and some of her leaf leading trees. Realizing the French was more important than competition, the two last place runs off together to finish the rest of the trees. In short, you should always enjoy the competition. And that, it's just a game, guys. Remember, it's a game. Now then, here are my thoughts on the episode. One, I hate Rainbow Cheats! Rainbow's cheat and that is so not good! Apple Jack's most honest, most kinder, loving pony ever! And I love apples. Let me hear fruit. As for Rainbow, boo! You stag, Rainbow! I hope next time you realize you shouldn't cheat your best friend! Honestly, no count lower than. Ugh, I can't swear. Or I'll get the. Or I'll get the Fluttershy squeal. Don't ask what that means. Some of my girls cooked up. <sighs> okay! Who farted? Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Honestly, honey, you're not supposed to eat cheese on apples. It's not very good for your constipation. Hey, mommy. That was just Sally. She can't have cheese on apples. Don't know why she eats it. So weird. And then again, she's my daughter. Mm -mm. As for Twilight, I love how Twilight acts are very friendly, even during sports. She's an amazing character who acts as if it's all fun and games. And it's always fun and games. Rarity and, uh... Okay, I love... Pinky's antidotes and funnies. How she uh, during the commentary with Spike there was just awesome. But my favorite one. And it looks like Applejack has found herself quite in a pickle. Remember that overtakes her. <laughs> that was my favorite line. And Spike, she was per he was perfect for the race. Very cool. Now as for uh, Fluttershy, yay Fluttershy! When you think of it, she didn't do a lot in the episode. She only did Shine Wave, and which is really good. In any case, folks, I hope you guys enjoy my pleasant little review. <sighs> I am so tired. I did a lot of work out today. Was he walking around the outside mall? All of, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. My lunch. Dang, Tootin, if those two ain't gonna work together, I say they'd rather work apart. Okay, who made me say these lines? <laughs> Raven, um, sorry, Mom. Couldn't help it. Next time, if why do a prank, join an April Fool's Day. Okay, folks, night. <laughs>